2020 Toyota Avalon TRD. According to Consumer Reports, the Toyota Avalon does have well above average reliability, which is the very highest reliability rating given by Consumer Reports. And typically those two things don't go hand in hand, so therefore I am in this one today. So what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with powering this beast is going to be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, putting out 301 horsepower at 6,600 RPM, 267 pound-feet of torque available at 4,700 RPM, power sent to the front wheels through an eight-speed automatic zero to Avalon, but either way, taking regular unleaded fuel or 87 octane some paddle shifters as well on this one. Did want to mention there are some driving modes, and of course, those drive mode buttons are located directly behind the shifter, and they will include eco, normal, and sport, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response tier first. And before we do that, I wanted to mention there is a full manual shift mode. If you simply slide the shifter to the left, that is going to display what gear you are currently in up on the digital port of the gauges and it is essentially going to give you full control over the shifting so with that being said what do you guys say let's test out the paddle shifters here first and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us these braking is equally important so up front you will find 12.9 inch power assisted ventilated disc brakes with dual piston front calipers in the back 11.06 inch rear disc and by the way there's a red painted front and rear calipers I thought that was pretty cool as well in any case anybody was curious yes they are larger front and rear brakes than your standard Toyota Avalon trim. So I did want to mention that as five inch wider wheel and tire combination for enhanced grip. That is pretty freaking cool. And 0.6 inch lower ride height as well. So definitely tuned for more aggressive handling. I will say that we're all but pretty much on to par for the course, I guess you could say. But then touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Really with sedans, you're not gonna have any issues. And with this larger Avalon sedan, again, definitely not gonna have any issues there either. Toyota Avalon TRD. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2020 Toyota Avalon TRD. And yes, the TRD trim level does give you a whole lot of grill up front, which actually looks quite good in my opinion. One of those polarizing grills that you're either gonna love it or hate it, and I actually love it. I think it looks really good. But anyways, let's continue up front here. Looking to the sides, you guys can see those air curtains just underneath the headlights. They are there to help direct air around that wheel tire combination, give you a little better aerodynamics there. Taking a look at those headlights, they are LED reflector headlights with smoke housings. They will, of course, come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights also coming standard with that and of course down below you guys can see that piano black front splitter that is going to tie in quite nicely with the front grille in my opinion but so anyways now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the avalon trd here and so probably the first noticeable difference between the trd and your standard avalon is the trd side skirts with red accents that of course ties together with the front lip and continues on to the rear as well but piano black window surrounds to go along with that piano black heated power adjustable side mirrors with integrated turd signals do come standard on this one and taking a look down at the wheel setup one of my favorite parts 19 inch trd matte black alloy wheels they look amazing they do come with a multi-spoke design and the trd red emblem in the middle for the wheel cap so it looks absolutely amazing there love the side profile to this one but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the avalon trd and so of course you will find that shark fin antenna up top but just below that a gloss black rear spoiler that is going to come standard on the trd trim there led tail lights actually come standard as well there is some trd badging back there trd rear diffuser and you guys could see that along with how low and amazing this thing actually looks but then to the sides of that rear diffuser large cat back dual exhaust outlets with stainless steel tips they look absolutely amazing back there but what's going to make them even better i think you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip
And so now since we are around back of the Avalon here to go ahead and open that trunk, there are a few different ways to go ahead and do that. There actually is a rubberized button on the trunk itself. It's gonna be located more towards the right side. Underneath there, there is also a button on the key fob and there is a button by the driver's left knee when sitting in the driver's seat as well. So a few different ways there, but once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16.09 cubic feet, which of course is a ton. And of course this is a larger sedan, so that's pretty much as expected there. But if you needed even more space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, giving you a ton more space once again. So that's absolutely amazing. But to then making our way to the rear seats, let's touch on those 40.3 inches of rear leg room for reference. I mean, even six feet tall, this is how much space I have back there. Ton of space for me. And that's really luxury like leg room, quite honestly. But red accents in the seating, you got red seat belts as well. I definitely love that. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders back there as well. And of course, you will find rear ventilation for those rear passengers back there too. So, rear passengers definitely have it made back there. And make our way to the front seats eight way power adjustable driver and passenger seats. And that's pretty cool that passenger seat is power adjustable as well. Soft text upholstery with suede inserts comes standard on this one. Heated front seats come standard as well. You can find the TRD lettering found on the upper portion of those headrests. And of course, you do have some red stitching, some red accents, red seat belts once again, and very comfortable seating. Not quite as comfortable as Lexus F Sport seats that, of course, Toyota also makes, but still very comfortable seating in the Avalon TRD. So I was definitely a fan. Take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped with red stitching. So loved that as well. Wouldn't have minded a little bit thicker grips and a sportier trim like the TRD, but other than that, steering wheel is plenty fine. Then make our way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Avalon specific key with Toyota Avalon badging on the one side. Then when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch. And it is all keyless entry, by the way, with the push button start. So all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there. It's up, but then once started up, tachometer is all the way to the left, speedometer is to the right, and there is a fairly large digital display front and center. And to control what is on that digital display, simply use the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there. It is gonna give you things like a digital speedometer, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your outside temperature when you need your next oil change. There's some safety information, radio information. Really the list goes on, so there's quite a bit you can check out up there. The bigger way to overall interior quality, a power moonroof does come standard on this one. There's also an auto dimming rear view mirror with home controls for up to three different garage doors love that as well aluminum foot pedal that of course alluding to the sporty nature of the Avalon TRD aluminum trim accents also throughout this one including the door handles on the doors and it ties in together with the climate control just above the passenger side glove box there and of course that red stitching continues from the seats onto the doors and above the glove box and you do have a 12 volt power outlet just in front of the shifter there and by the way the shifter itself I don't know if you guys noticed you do have TRD etched into that shifter with a leather shifter shift boot that was pretty cool and there are two cup holders just beside the shifter there there's an electromechanical parking brake and an absolute ton of storage behind it all including three usb charging ports within that center armrest as well and a little tray area you can take out if you wanted to so everything is very well laid out in the avalon but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display on this one nine inch colored touchscreen display coming standard bluetooth audio streaming coming standard android auto apple carplay as well love that and you can actually check out the weather forecast up there as well if you wanted to there's also an eco button that lets you know your driving statistics how many mpgs you're getting at any given time that was pretty cool and of course you can check out your radio settings up there as well and by the way when it comes to the sound system you will get eight speakers that come standard on this one however there is an optional sound system that comes with factory navigation and that being the jbl sound system and that is currently the one we have today so i do believe you guys know what we have to do next let's turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one there's definitely one or more subwoofers in the avalon trd at least with this jbl sound system plenty of bass plenty of clarity the sound system is wonderful the only constructive criticism i actually have with this is the front speaker placement on the a pillars here it looks like an afterthought it looks like they just glued them onto there or something i wouldn't have minded the speakers incorporated into the a pillars rather than just having them placed on there with black plastic surround so that's my only constructive criticism as far as it sounds it did sound absolutely amazing so definitely a fan of the jbl sound system there 
Last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the tech display though is when you do put the Avalon TRD in reverse, you will of course find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety, which is where the Avalon absolutely kills it. Side side curtain airbags, but also driver and passenger knee airbags as well. That doesn't come standard in every vehicle out there. In the back, of course, you got latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, along with rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, and Toyota.